In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Hey, Lindsay. Oh, hey. Welcome to this episode, whichever episode it is. <laughs> Maybe we're being redundant right now because we don't know if we filmed or not. Well, we filmed. We just don't know if GoPro held on to that footage. Oh, yeah. We are on bonus day here in the camper. We went for a walk uh, earlier today. Took the dogs out. It was fun. It was a beautiful day. Yeah. We were making a list of all the things that we needed to do. Some little, some big. And we were going to get to work tomorrow because today is Monday. Monday. And Tuesday's Tuesday's our work day. Tuesday's our work day. Yeah, our all-day camper day. As we're making a list, we're like, you know what? Let's just go in the camper and knock some of these things out. Yep. Shouldn't take too long to knock some of them out. It's almost bedtime anyway, so I'm not going to spend forever working in the camper. But I'm fired up right now to get some of this knocked out because it's starting to look really good. We are going to get to work now because we're doing a lot of talking about what we're going to yep. do. You guys know this by now. By This is probably episode 347 <laughs> of our RV remodel. You know we talk more than we work, and that's why there's so many doggone episodes. So I'm going to put the camera on the tripod. We're going to go in the in the bedroom, knock out these projects in the bedroom, move into the bathroom. And then I'm looking at this hole right here. And I'm saying, you know how easy it is to fill in that hole? It's pretty doggone easy. I just take this thing right here and I put it right there. And then I put four or six screws into it and it's done. I hope it's that easy. And then I tape this up. That's our propane. And uh, then we should be good. Let's get it done. But now that I said all that, you want to see what our to-do list looks like? Oh my goodness. To-do. Bedroom. Bathroom. I have a full page of to-dos. But a good chunk of it's all on the roof, which is going to come later. It is still pollening here in Florida. It's not raining or snowing it is pollening i don't know how you say that how do you say po poll pollening it pollens in florida it's paul it's paul i know i don't it, know it poll pollening. it's still pollen pollening you're it, adding too many ings. I, I, it's pollening it's pollening it's pollening it's pollening it's pollening <laughs> it's pollening so it's really hard to work on the roof right now and tomorrow it's going to rain i was going to get up on the roof today and do some stuff oh i did get on the roof today yeah I put some... We cleaned the awning. Cleaned a little bit of the awning, not the full thing. We're going to show you the whole cleaning the awning. But I cleaned the top part where I could put some Eternabond over some rips that we have in the in the vinyl up there. So we're not going to have rips when we're driving. That thing would have shredded and we would have looked like the Beverly Hillbillies <laughs> driving down the road with our awning just flapping around. Yeah. So anyway, climbed up on the roof and I did that just because the rain's coming tomorrow and I didn't want any more water getting in the, the different layers of the awning. So that's done, excited. We'll wait till it stops pollening and then climb back on the roof and do the roof stuff. But now we're gonna go do the bedroom, bathroom stuff. Let's do it. One, yep. two, three. Stop, stop. No, no close ups. We forgot to feed the dogs dinner. Don't judge. You do that sometimes with your children. I don't judge when you do that. Lindsay's going to feed the dog, so I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to put this oven back in. This is made in China, of course. 
Um, doesn't say its official name, but it is for threaded joints of metal pipe not exceeding one to one and a half inch pipe. This is for use in propane appliances, and so I'm going to wrap this carefully. It's a literal lifesaver, so it creates a seal between the threads on the copper so that propane cannot get out. So, Tight is tight, the thread should be good. We got one of these propane sniffers. I don't know how, if it knows it, if we know it works. Do we know it works? I'm gonna go get a green canister of um, propane, the little ones that you use for campfire grills and uh, our camping grills. And I'm going to test this just so we know that it works. And then we're going to turn the gas on and check to make sure that we don't have a leak. Because you don't want to have a propane leak in your camper. If you don't know that already, you know that now. Um, and this little guy helps us make sure that we don't have a leak there. It works. So let's air out the camper for a minute. Oh yeah, it's pouring out. So we can actually hear the leak, but this is how it works and that's not good. So we got to fix it. Yeah. Turn the fan off. Could be I didn't tighten it enough. It could be a thread is off a little bit. So I'm gonna check that out. Okay, so I think what the issue was, I didn't tighten it all the way. I said tight was tight and tight wasn't nowhere near tight. So tight is now tight. I've turned the gas back on um, out of our tank and we don't hear the hissing that we heard before, which is obviously when you're working with propane, the first thing you're probably gonna smell uh, and propane itself doesn't smell, they add the, the stink to it so you can smell it. Um, but we heard the hissing and we smelled the smell and that was the issue. So the smell is still here in the camper and when using the sniffer, it has to calibrate itself. So I'm going to go outside, we've still got a little residual propane in here. I'm going to go outside, let it calibrate to the outside, the ambient air that has no propane in it. And it'll do its beep beep and then we'll come in here and I'm just going to hold it all around the joint where I connected um, the two ends, propane coming from here into the appliance. The reason why we want to have no trace of propane in the air at all when we test the oven. And in fact, we'll probably just test it in the morning. No need to test it tonight. So on that note, I'm going to go calibrate this real quick. That's the sound we want to hear. That's the sound we want to hear. So I'm content that we don't have a leak. What we're going to do is we're going to air out the camper while we're working in the back. Um, and that was my mistake for telling you that tight was tight. Tight was not tight enough. But you don't want to over torque either. And that's what I was being careful of. So now it's really secure. The tape's holding. I'm content we're set. So we're gonna go ahead and call this part. I am gonna turn off the propane tonight. If I don't and we do have a leak, our alarm's gonna go berserk and wake up all the, the neighbors, which is like raccoons and armadillos. 
Um, and they deserve to be woken up anyway, because they... They're already awake. It's they're, night. Okay, Miss... <laughs> I don't know who, crocodile, hunter, person, whatever, wild animal, Steve guy, whatever, um, reincarnated. <laughs> anyway, um, Lindsay knows everything about animals, or so, so something like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the gas tank outside. We're going to turn the fans on. We're going to air this place out. I don't even know if you can see me right now. Can you see me? I don't know, I'm guessing. Um, I'm gonna go air everything out and we're gonna finish up the other tasks. But this is looking fantastic. I'm excited. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. How did the night finish up? Good. I think we got a lot done. As much as we wanted. I mean, there were a couple other things that I wish we had finished up, but we didn't. But that's okay. Because we, we hit tomorrow. We hit some snags. <laughs> we always hit snags. We always hit snags. <laughs> the propane thing in the grill was a pain in the butt. I mean, it was no no big deal. It was three or four extra minutes, but there was that. Mm -hmm. There was screws not going in the right place in the bedroom and just, oh, anyway. Just little things. Little things, but little we, things. Then we got the stove in. Never, never pet the sweaty stuff. Never pet the... What? Never sweat the petty stuff. It's never sweat the petty stuff, the little things. Never don't pet this don't worry stuff. about don't worry about the little things not don't pet the sweaty stuff i don't know what pet the sweaty stuff means but i'm not going to define that for you i will say the little things in this camper are coming along we're getting there got to add one thing to your list tomorrow paint the doggone refrigerator door yeah that right. that's a sore thumb right now because the wood color doesn't even match mm -hmm. Got it all taped off. It's ready to go. All well, taped off. Then. Look at that. Look at that. Man, it looks good. There's trash on it. It looks good. Look at those lights. Somebody That's must have worked awesome. hard to wire and install those. And then there's my bride. No close ups. All right, we're going to call it a night. We will be back first thing right now.